Hi, this is Evan from Digital Team Coach. This month, we are going to be looking at how we can make our work simpler. There have been so many changes in our world, so many changes in our workplace. Often we're expected now to be producing more with less, less resources, less people, less money, less everything. And it's going to be really hard continuing forward to be able to continue this trend without being burnt out. I'm sure we've all had stress in our workplaces, in experiences that we've had with our work. So let's start to break this down. What makes work stressful and what are the tasks that you are experiencing the most pain in at the moment? When we break down the source of the pain in the work that we're doing, it normally comes from one of four places. The first one is on an organizational level where there might be something in the culture, the DNA, or just how the whole place uh, and system is run. The second place where there can be pain is in the people who you're working with. Not that people are bad and everyone's trying to get their job done, uh, but sometimes there are too many people in a process. Sometimes there's not enough. Sometimes we just haven't figured out how we uh, work with each other and the roles that we have. The third one flows into this, and that is workflow and the processes around our work. Sometimes workflows can be more complicated than what they actually need to be. And this could be just because that it's the way things have always been done or, um, or someone's come in and put something in place, but uh, it hasn't been shared and communicated particularly well. And the last place where our work can become painful is with the systems that we use. The systems are meant to support the work that we do, but if they're outdated, if we don't know what to do with them, if the systems are um, not doing what they're meant to do, they're not supporting the work that gets done, it takes time, it causes pain. So now let's talk about the cost of the painful work that we have to do at the moment. So there are two main costs involved. The first one is that intangible mental, emotional toll on our work where we bring work home with us, uh, we are stressed, it might affect our sleep, it might affect our relationships, it can affect our health as well. So we get frustrated easily, we get stressed, we might be uncertain about things. And so this makes us uh, much more unproductive. The second cost with work that uh, is painful is that there's a, a time cost involved, um, that time gets wasted. So we're not gonna be working very uh, effectively, we might bring other people into this problem and or they may be contributing to the problem as well or the systems aren't configured properly or structured well to support the work that we're doing. And so there's time that gets wasted and that's multiplied by the number of people who are experiencing this problem or part of the problem as well. So we can actually calculate the amount of time that's being wasted on a particular task and when we then uh, extrapolate that to how many hours in a week, a month, a year, multiplied by the number of people who that's impacting, we can see very quickly both the amount of time that that takes up. And then you can also put a dollar figure on that time. So if you have 20 people who are doing the same sorts of uh, tasks that are not configured uh, or streamline very well, then that's going to be impacting the organization and basically wasting thousands of hours every year. So uh, take a look at the link my, uh, on my website, the Task Smashing Calculator, uh, to just play with some figures and see how much time you could actually win back if you were able to eliminate and remove some of the pain in your work, whether that's because of the systems you, uh, that aren't configured well, it might be some workflows that need tweaking or overhauling, it might mean changing the way that you work and communicate with people in your team 
and around you. What I'd like you to do is write down everything in your job at the moment that is frustrating you, that is taking up too much time, that you uh, wish you could, if you had a magic wand, you could wave it and remove some of those uh, painful aspects of it. Remember the costs will include uh, that mental and emotional burden. And secondly, then just the amount of time that it's taking up and things not getting done well or not getting done at all or getting done late. So uh, write down a list of those tasks and then just put next to it and start to identify where is this pain coming from? Is it coming from uh, an organizational point of view? Maybe there's something in the culture. Is it coming from uh, people? Is it coming from the workflows uh, between people? Or, uh, or is it coming from your systems? Uh, and maybe the systems are not supporting the work that you're doing. Uh, start to think about those things, write them down, and then we are going to find ways of simplifying your work in the coming weeks.